August 28. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Comet Seed Uranus. Are you ready to explore Uranus? Well, come on along, because this is a interesting journey, I guess. In 1972, Dr. Fred L. Whipple suggested that Uranus and Neptune are big comets. Oh, really? Uranus? Neptune? And if I take Neil deGrasse Tyson's word, Pluto? Giant comets? That's fascinating. Very fascinating. His theory is that billions of small cometesimals make up those planets. Whipple, by the way, is the astronomer who in the early 1950s proposed a model of the average comet which seems to fit observations of comets. One interesting fact, ladies, did you know that according to the research conducted at the University of California, Berkeley, the extreme pressure and temperature deep within Uranus may break up the methane molecules with the carbon atoms condensing into crystals of diamond that rain down through the mantle like hailstones. High, very high pressure experiments at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory suggest that the base of the mantle may compromise an ocean of liquid diamond with floating solid diamondbergs. Well, that's fascinating. I guess your anus is a girl's best friend planet? Oh, man. I know. You know, shouldn't we have a satellite floating around every single major planet in the solar system? Another thing that's fascinating about Uranus is one of the very first photos that came back from it shows it as a completely bland, featureless orb. Well, modern photos don't quite show it to be that, which I find fascinating. In this view, we see arrows pointing to three of the five known moons of Uranus. Uranus is smaller than Jupiter and Saturn, and is 14 times more massive than Earth. Another thing, I do think it's hilarious whenever Prosci tells you what they think the core of the planet is, whether it be Jupiter, Uranus, Saturn, Neptune, Pluto, they're always like, yep, yeah, we, we kind of know what the core is. It's like, how do you know? I mean, you guys can't even crack the surface, you know? Um. The NASA flying Kaipur Observatory was used to discover rings of Uranus. Below its nine known rings, Uranus is believed to have a deep atmosphere made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Methane is present, giving the planet its greenish color. Scientists believe Uranus has a core of rock and metal surrounded by ice layers. Uranus has a ton of moons, I think about 16, and Uranus has rings. Apparently Miranda is a very weird moon. Man, why is this video so hard to make funny? Pronounce it however you want to. Uranus sounds weird. Ur Uranus. Uranus. Whatever, man. To help give us a better picture of Uranus, the Voyager 2 spacecraft is set to encounter the blue green planet in 1986. Judging from the excellent views we received of Jupiter and Saturn, Apparently, Uranus is the red-headed stepchild of the solar system. There aren't a ton of photos, and I'm really confused because in January 1986, the Voyager supposedly went past Uranus. I think like took a photo of Uranus or two. Can't really tell between their animations and uh, I know they took a ton of stuff at Saturn and even more at Neptune, but they kind of skipped over Uranus a bit, which is always interesting. NASA will make any new discoveries about a planet ground-based observers have never before seen at close range. Sometimes I think you guys over-explain too much. The four moons of Uranus that we are able to look at are made of water, ice, and dust. Crookshank says astronomers are able to measure the heat of radiation of the moons. 
those temperatures are colder than that of liquid nitrogen. And today we'll be talking about dead ass tro physics. I didn't get this meme. Uranus is on a 90 degree tilt. All the easier for me. To what? NDT. Tasty Cosmos. Milky Way bar. Moon pie. Eclipse gum. Orbit gum. Sun kissed. Celestial seasonings. Mars bar. But there's no food named Uranus. Neil deGrasse Tyson did enjoy Uranus so much he wrote a paper about it. 1993. Called On the Possibility of a major impact on your anus in the past century. Uranus. Uranus. In 1972, Dr. Fred L. Whipple suggested that Uranus and Neptune are big comets. I don't know, so maybe if Uranus really is a giant comet, maybe Neil deGrasse and Tassi. Neil deGrasse Tyson and Mike Brown, Pluto killer, kill off Uranus too. Remember the rule of Planet Club. What happens in Uranus stays in Uranus. And I'm going to try not to make too many Uranus jokes because I'm fecal phobic.